An important thing to know when programming in any language is whether or not something is passed by value or passed by reference. This is a subject that I know trips up a lot of beginners, and properly understanding the difference and when each of them applies is very important. Let's begin by taking a look at what it means when something is passed by value. Speaking of pass by, you should pass by our Discord server, link in the description. Whenever you pass a variable which is a primitive variable, such as a string, number or boolean, you don't pass the variable itself, but rather its value. Let's say that we have a variable health, which is equal to 5, and a function which takes one argument and doubles it. Then if we pass the health variable into the double function and print the health variable, you can see that it remains unaffected and still prints 5. In order to actually change the value, we would need to, for example, return the result and assign the returning value to the original variable. After doing so, you can see that it now prints 10. This probably feels quite natural to those who have been programming in Lua before. Now that we know what passing by value means, let's take a look at pass by reference. In Lua, Tables are always passed by reference. To illustrate the difference, let's say that we have declared a table named Great Food, which contains three strings, kebab, falafel and hamburger. Then we assign Great Food to another variable, copy. Finally, we change the first value in the original Great Food table to be something else, such as pizza. If we loop through the copy table, and print all of the values, what is the first value that gets printed? The original kebab or the new pizza? The answer is pizza. Similarly, if we have a function which takes one argument and sets the first value of it to be pizza, and then call this function passing in the great food table, then we can iterate through both the great food table and the copy table then both the great food table and the copy table will print pizza as their first value. To better understand why that is the case, let us visualize it. Imagine that the variable is an address written on a piece of paper, and the table itself is a red house. Then if I were to take another piece of paper and copy the first paper, i.e. write down the address, they are both pointing to the same house. If I look at the first piece of paper and say, I will paint the house on this address to be yellow, and then take the second paper and check what the color of the house on the address is, well, then naturally it's going to be yellow. And that is what a reference is, an address which is pointing to something, in this case the data structure table. Another very important thing to keep in mind is that when you assign a variable to curly brackets, that is calling the table constructor, and this complicates things slightly with our previous example. We once again have the same great food variable, which contains a reference to a table, which in turn contains the three strings kebab, falafel and hamburger. Just like before, we assign a new variable copy to the great food variable. Next, we assign the initial great food variable to a new table containing three numbers, 1, 2 and 3. The question now is, if we loop through and print all of the values of the copy table, what is it going to print? Kebab, falafel and hamburger, or 1, 2, 3? The answer is, perhaps surprisingly, kebab, falafel and hamburger. So why is that the case? Well, the key to understanding it is the fact that the curly brackets call the table constructor, which means that it creates an entirely new table which gets a completely different address or reference. If we use the previous example with the houses, this is similar to first typing the address of a red house on a piece of paper, then copying the address to a second paper. Finally, you build a new blue house in a different city and replace the address of the initial paper with that of the newly constructed house. 
It's not very strange that when we ask what the color of the house on the address of the second paper is, we get the result red and not blue. But what should you do if you actually need to copy another table and don't want to simply copy the reference? Well, there are multiple ways of doing so, and it depends a lot on whether you need a deep copy or a shallow copy. If the table you want to copy only contains primitive variables, then all you need is a shallow copy, which you can achieve by iterating through the table and assigning each key value pair to the new table. But when you have a table with nested tables, you need to make a deep copy. There are many different ways of achieving it, and which is best depends a lot on the specific case. One of the simplest ways, which I personally find works with most basic use cases, is to pass the table you wish to copy into table.unpack, which in turn is passed into the table constructor. You can create a helper function out of this, which takes the table you wish to copy as an argument and then returns the new table. Thank you for watching this far. I hope that you learned something. If something is unclear, leave a comment and I will do my best to help you out. If you want to help me make more videos, consider subscribing and leaving a like.